hi friends welcome back so today we will learn one new things what is that okay as you know that it's very easy to enroll six to boot a second kernel yeah if you wanna say like with the old kernel as we can say if there is an option you can go in etc default grub and you have to just uh, default equal to whatever zero you can put one and you know if there is a for example you have three kernels so first let me write the name of the practical how to boot with old kernel version in RHEL 7 so before we start this I want to give you some background about RHEL 6 in RHEL 6 you don't need to do anything there is a just simple configuration file for example you have a three kernels okay three kernels so it stands first assume zero second two and third means two so you don't need to do anything you have to do and go to a grub.config file and there would be default for example if default equal to zero what does it mean it's mean it will gonna boot with this kernel for example this kernel is kernel hyphen 21 dot two and xxx mm, dot rel 7 rel, sorry rel 6 okay and it is same now uh, okay this is for example this is 2 just example don't think the kernel version is like this it is completely different okay so here it is this uh, okay this one three so if in grub.config file you found zero what does it mean it's mean your kernel will boot with this one your OS will boot with this kernel if I will put here one that's mean your kernel gonna boot with this one if I'm gonna do this your kernel gonna boot this very simple and real six Rel 7 it is also same the feature like uh, 1 0 1 2 1 and all <clears throat> but they made some changes uh, you know the configuration file is related to here to there um, they give some variables okay this variable will gonna read some another variable so today we will discuss about that but it is very very important practical and that will gonna help you when you're gonna stuck somewhere in your company okay so in rel 7 what this is my Linux 7 machine let me show you guys reddit release this is my 7.2 okay okay now come back to this is a practical hmm. by default there is a one parameter that's called grub equal to default if you gonna relate with the reddit 6 there was a default instead of that okay do not confuse just the right uh, grub as it is a latest version they're gonna use some new things new words so that you feel that you're working on reddit 7 instead of 6 okay guys and this is uh, one parameter and where you gonna find this parameter for that what you need to do 
we have to go to file etc default and group okay what would be you find in this directory let me show you guys I will show you etc grub default and grub okay you can see this guys this okay that this is a timeout when your flash screen will be come up on your screen so it will wait for five seconds so you if you wanna be boot with another OS like a dual booting right so you can go with another kernel okay this is just uh, find out the your release name system release name what does it mean guys it's mean this save is very important if a normal person will read saved what does it mean man if i saw and it at six it was one two zero something now it's saved what does it mean no need to worry about it it's just a one variable which is related to some another file okay and this is you know guys very well it is a k dump which we have configured and in reddit 7 if you want to disable your ip version 6 you have to put this entry in your grub.config file and after that you have to regenerate your grub.config file so that new changes will be implemented automatically and after reboot your ip version 6 gonna boot you know gonna disable automatically after this change because in the reddit 6 if you want to disable your ip version 6 you have to put some entry in etc system cts something right its name is etc I'm so bad with the names guys and this one okay you have to put some entry here and then you have to just um, activate this and uh, reboot your system and IP version 6 gonna disable but few people just think that the same thing happened in Reddit 7 no it is not in Reddit 7 they made some changes so for that we have to put the entry here instead of in this file okay so let's come back to the topic the topic was this grub default what's saved what does it mean and where is the variable you know this variable from from which file is gonna read okay I will show you guys so there is uh, one directory not here boot grab two okay before one that I want to show you one more thing you can see I just want to know that is my kernel is booting with the latest one your old one you can see kernel updated one yes my new kernel is updated one okay that's mean I have two kernel the which one is the updated one that is my kernel which is booty right now okay okay now just let me show you more things okay so we were talking about this parameter save okay <clears throat> let me open that file again it is the default and grub okay the save parameter is there let me show you the important file which I'm going to use grub.in environment save entry whatever you will gonna put here your system will gonna boot with that kernel guys this saved read this save entry this and now here also uh, another clause so either you can put here the name like complete name of the second kernel either you can set here one you two okay okay we we will go on this practical with the both both way okay okay 
so if they you gonna use with the second first way okay first I will show you how many kernels we have okay so I believe I have a one command I think I use yeah 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 this one this is the command it will just find out let me show you guys from back complete this okay guys this is the command it will not do anything it's just uh, I just you know print some important lines okay these are my kernels which are available in my operating system right now one is this 3.10.r.327.49.2e1 l7 and another one is only 327 okay so right now my kernel is boot with this one okay how can you show with this your name hyphen a you can see my kernel with the boot with 9491 okay so if I want to reboot so in this what is this this is means zero this means one okay guys I'm gonna boot with the second one so I don't need to put two I will put here one so one stands means two okay this is zero this is two this is a kernel sequence actually okay for that I have to do grub okay grub set hyphen the fourth I'm gonna with one okay this is the command grub two hyphen set hyphen one now what this made it changes let me show you guys it did just simple change grab dot in one file you can see this your name is gone man here is equal to one so now instead of you put a complete name you can just put here one and after that what you have to do you have to just config hyphen o slash boot and grab two and grab and dot cfg make i rebuild my grub.config file okay now let me reboot my system and then check what would be the my new kernel just wait for one second only let me show my kernel gonna boot with the second one automatically you can see okay guys this will be up with a few minutes Okay guys, let me reboot this system. Okay. it this. You name hyphen A. Come on guys. You can see this is my new kernel. I mean old one. If you saw before reboot it was this. Okay? This is the way you can change your kernel. Okay? The there is another method. What was that? Okay, what is this? You have to just okay. Now just run with the, your old query. Uh, this one? No, sorry. This one. So I want to boot with this one. Okay. I can just copy this complete line and open my file. This is the second method, guys. It, okay. Grab, grab the environment because end of the day, it that that say you're gonna make sure you use a complete because it's very sensitive files guys okay now save it now again rebuild your kernel and grab that config file config hyphen o boot 
grab to grab dot reboot after that reboot the system now you can see it was triggered with the first one so let's come back it will come one minute okay guys my system is up let me reboot my system this reset my session okay root red hat you name you name hyphen a wow my new kernel okay so this is how we can this is how we can boot with the old kernel in rel 7 i hope this video is gonna help you in your production environment whenever you're stuck guys okay guys thanks to watch my video if you find this video helpful please share with your friends and like this video and give your comments and subscribe so that you can get latest update okay you are watching this video from technical tech channel thanks again see you guys